I'm Joel Scott, the owner and founder of All Sorts Fitness, and this is Tale Osterfield, one of our personal trainers here. Tale is going to demonstrate some exercises for you to do on a circuit format today. And a circuit basically means that we're going to do different exercises for a, an allotted time. So we're going to do three different exercises today. They're all strength. One's for the upper body, chest. The next one is for the arms. And the last one is for the legs, the squats. Okay, so we'll start with uh, squats. So Tali, can you get in squat position for me, please? Great stuff. And with a squat, the most important thing is that you keep your knee behind your toe. So you pretty much want to pretend like you're sitting on a chair that may be just a little bit too far away for you to sit in. So you can show them a squat, please, Tali. Great stuff. So see how Tali's got her backside right out. She's keeping her knees behind her toes there. She's coming down. And as you come up, you want to push through the heels to get up. So someone should be able to put their big fingers under your toe there and not have you uh, press them at all. That's perfect. So that's exercise one. The second exercise is a push-up. Okay? There's a couple of different ways you can do push-ups. There's push-ups on your toes. So Tyler, you can get in the position. You want your hands directly under your chest. Okay, your back nice and straight, so there's a straight line from your shoulder all the way to your toes. And then you come down about this far away from the ground and come up, just like Tale is doing there. And if that's a bit much for you, you can do them on your knees. Okay, so again, keeping that back nice and straight from your shoulder to the knee, okay, so there's a nice flat line there, and coming down and up. If that's still too much for you, you can stick your backside out a little bit and do them like that. Okay, and the third exercise we're going to get you to do today is a dip. Okay, now you can do a dip just about off anything, any, any elevated position you like really. A chair, a step, a table. We're going to use a chair today. Just a basic folding chair. Everyone's got a chair in their house, so we'll get Tyler to take a seat. That's how they'll get you to put your hands by your sides. Okay, so you want your knuckles facing the uh, ceiling like so. Fantastic. And then you just bring your backside off the chair, okay, and come down, bring your backside directly down to the ground and up, okay. You want to keep your elbows going past your wrist this way, okay, you don't want them coming too far over your hands and coming up like that. If that's a bit easy for you, you can always uh, stick your legs out in front of you like so, and that'll make it just a little bit harder, okay. If doing it on a chair is too hard for you, you can take it to a table or a bench and that'll make it easier again for you. Okay? So now that we've got our three exercises, we can do them in a circuit format. Okay? We want you to do three laps today. The first one will be a minute, then you'll have about a minute's rest, then you'll do 45 seconds, about 45 seconds rest, then 30 seconds, and then again, you'll have a rest. So, in a circuit format, so we'll start off with push-ups. That's always a good place to start. Okay, Talos, if you want to do push-ups for me. So there you go. You'll do this for a minute, and then you'll change. Moving straight on to the next station. So let's go into our squats now, Talos. Again, we're doing this for a minute, and then back into the dips. Excellent work. See how Tali's got her shoulders back the whole time, breathing out to the hard part, which in this case is coming up, and you're done. Great stuff. So after you do the minutes, again you'll have a minute's rest, then you'll do a lap where you do 45 seconds, and then another lap where you do 30 seconds, of course after that 45 second rest. And that's your workout for today.